Okay, I'm going to play some Dino Cards. This is the pro version. I believe it cost me like a couple bucks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take some trivia on some dinosaurs. It's for like children, I understand, but like um, for me, uh, I mean it, it works for me too. I mean, or anybody else wanting to learn about dinosaurs. Um, so it's pretty straightforward, and it's, you know, like I said, it's just not for kids, even though it's, like, formulated that way. It's not like you can't still learn something from it, and it's hard to find a dinosaur educational app out there for me, besides something that's, you know, more filtered towards entertainment. So I'll go ahead and take the dino quiz. Gallimimus. I remember Gallimimus from Jurassic Park. It's the one that looks kind of like a chicken without feathers. Euderanus. I don't know this one. Maybe it's this yellow guy right here in the top right corner. Okay. Alarcosaurus. Amargosaurus. Maybe it's this guy? Nope. Wow. Um, I know that because I fight a bunch of compies on, um, to rock two seeds of evil. Baryonyx. Baryonyx is the fish eating dinosaur from the United Kingdom. It has big claws, and I think that's what it's named for. Megalosaurus. Megalosaurus is like a big T Rex. Overraptor. Overraptor likes to eat eggs, I guess. He's like a thief, kind of like a mutated chicken. Spinosaurus. Um, Spinosaurus is the one from Egypt. Like northern Africa, it swims in the um, water, and it's a fishing dinosaur like Baryonyx as well, um, I believe. Microraptor. Microraptor is the one that looks like a bird. Pterodactylus. Um, Pterodactylus is one of these guys on the right. Um. I believe you call them pterosaurs, um, flying dinosaurs basically, um, maybe it's this guy, yeah. Velociraptor. Velociraptor is the thing from, uh, the movie Dinosaur by Disney and also by Jurassic Park, um, with the huge claw on its foot. Myosaura. Myosaura is, I learned it from this app. It is this one with the baby dinosaurs. It looks like it's almost, um, one is almost like, um, feeding from it like a mammal. Even though it's a reptile, it looks like it's licking its mother, um, for some milk. Except, it, you know, it's a reptile, so it probably doesn't produce milk, um, to feed its young. Or else I believe that would be classified as a mammal. I'm, I don't know, though, for sure. Diplodocus. Diplodocus is this, um, giraffe-looking, um, long neck. I forget what you call them, brachiosaurs or something like that. Mosasaurus. M Mosasaurus. Um, Mosasaurus is the f big... Thing in the big tank in Jurassic World. Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus is this guy. He is responsible for, um, and I'm talking about the one, the yellow one in the top left corner. He's responsible for downing um, Dennis Nedry when uh, um, the computer technician turned industrial espionage guy, or, you know, like, um, 
you know, Dennis Nedry from Jurassic Park 1. He's trying to escape with the embryos, and this acid-spitting dinosaur gets him, which is Dilophosaurus. Dimorphodon. The, the Dimorphodon is a flying dinosaur, and so I know it's going to be, by deductive reasoning, it's going to be the one in the top left corner. Oranosaurus. Whoa, this one's going to be tough. Oranosaurus, um, I know the one in the top left corner is Pachycephalosaurus, um, the hammerhead dinosaurs. Uh, you can see those in Lost World, Jurassic Park. Um, but Oranosaurus, um, not really sure. Um, maybe it's this guy in, uh, to the right of Pachycephalosaurus. No. Uh, so, um, my next guess is the guy on the left, um, because he looked, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with him. Yeah, it is him. Hadrosaurus. Hadrosaurus is the one standing up, kind of like a duck build, um, dinosaur. Cryolophosaurus. Cryolophosaurus. Um, this was one of the Tyrannosaurs or something like that, or something that looks like it that, um, I believe it's one of these guys. It's not the, um, one in the bottom left corner. I forget what the name of that one is. It's like the big T-Rex one, but, um, the, it's either the one in the top left or the bottom right. And I think it's, uh, Ceratosaurus or something is the one in the bottom right. So I'm going to go with this one in the top left. Yeah. Gallimimus. Gallimimus is the, um, yeah, I already went over that. Styracosaurus. Styracosaurus is the, um, uh, triceratops looking dinosaur. Comsignathus. Comsignathus, that's the compies. Allosaurus. Allosaurus is the one with the thumbs. I always remember that. Um, but it's not the one that looks like an iguanodon. I, it, so it's not the one in the top right corner, but it's the one in the um, bottom right corner. Carnotaurus. Carnotaurus is the bad guy from uh, the dinosaur movie by Disney. Um, and that would be in the top right corner. They're like a tyrannosaur with like pointed um, horns on their heads. Platyosaurus. Platyosaurus, I believe it's the one in the bottom left. Yeah. Microraptor. Microraptor, flying one. Euteranus. The yellow guy. Mementrosaurus. Mementrosaurus is one of the long neck dinosaurs, but I know it's not a Margosaurus, which is the one in the top left corner, but it's going to be the one in the top right corner. Pteranodon. Uh, Pteranodon. Uh, it's a pterosaur, right? Uh, I believe that's what it is. I'm, I may be mistaken. I'm not an expert in this stuff, though I love dinosaurs, so it's going to be the one that's flying, obviously. Therizinosaurus. This is probably the most freakiest dinosaur of all time, and I had no idea such thing actually existed, and I thought, like, the game was just tripping me up at first. But I do remember distinctively looking this up, and the Therizinosaurus is this freaky-looking giant bird thing in the top right corner. Silicosaurus. Psittacosaurus is this one in the top left corner. Parasaurolophus. The Psittacosaurus, I was going to tell you, kind of reminds me of a Gila monster. Um, Parasaurolophus, whatever it just said. What? Speak. Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus, okay. Wow, that's a tongue twister for me. Um, it's the purple one. Oranosaurus, that guy. Deinonychus. Deinonychus. Uh, bigger chicken. Baryonyx. Gotcha. 
Cryolithosaurus. Spinosaurus. Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus is the one that looks like, uh, you know, it has armor on it. Corythosaurus. Corythosaurus is one that's named after this guy named Cory, and it's the bottom left corner dinosaur. Wyangosaurus. Uh, this is like a one that was found in Asia. Um, Wyangosaurus. Warangosaurus. Warangosaurus. Wow. Um, but it's the um Stegosaurus looking guy. Plesiosaurus. Plesiosaurus is the Loch Ness monster, which is the type uh you'd find uh also in Lake Champlain. Um a champ, you know, that kind of stuff. Um supposedly. Um and also the one up in Alaska or something like that. Um, but uh, the Plesiosaurus is the top right swimming dinosaur. Hadrosaurus. Hadrosaurus, once again, the duck build looking tall thing. Velociraptor. Once again, the big claw, scary looking raptor thing. Uh, uh, terror to mankind, most likely. Triceratops. Triceratops is the three-horned dinosaur. Carnotaurus. Carnotaurus is that guy, top left corner. Pterodactylus. Pterodactylus. When anytime you see Tero, the P P is silent. T E R O. That is the one that's flying. Hey, excuse me. And so it's gonna be by method of deductive reasoning, top right corner. Megalosaurus. Megalosaurus is the. That's what he was. He's the big T Rex guy. There he is. Allosaurus. Allosaurus, thumb guy. Dimorphodon. The Dimorphodon is this weird looking big headed red one up at the top left corner with the long tail. Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus is the. Um, Dinosaur in the bottom left corner, it's purple, but for those who are, um, uh, you know, can't see all the colors of the spectrum, uh, you know, that is, it's colored purple, but, um, it's the one with the big horn on its head, and they used to think that it was for, used for fighting, um, but now, uh, some scientists have said that it's used for communication, their big um uh looking horn thing on their head it kind of looks like a fantasy character um but uh, or a fantasy beast but it's actually a real thing um it once walked the earth and um you know maybe it still does maybe it's one of those cryptids like it's out there in the congo or something like that just waiting to be seen but i, I probably don't think so it's a large um reptile so, um, in that regard, it's probably not going to be seen, um, it, I mean, it probably would be seen because it has to forage for a lot of resources, not unless it stores a lot of its, um, uh, um, food and energy differently than what, and, you know, it could convert energy from, you know, different types of plants and and things and maybe even the sun um so maybe these creatures uh maybe they didn't require a large foraging area uh maybe they uh, were able to somehow synthesize like a plant does like these huge trees um they can synthesize uh, what they need from sunlight and um simple things like water and minerals that are found in the area as well so maybe um it's kind of like a uh, an insect or a, or a xenomorph like it, it gets its energy from its surroundings but some of the um uh, dinosaurs i mean these are herbivores obviously so um because they they have these like stones that they find inside of them 
I forget what they're called, but they're like some type of gut stone that they, they have to help break down plants. And, um, like, some of the dinosaurs are obviously carnivores and omnivores. So they'll eat just about anything. Omnivores will. So, um, but, like, you know, a, a possum is an omnivore. And if you know anything about the American possum, um, it's, you know, completely free of rabies it's um apparently even though it's a pretty dirty thing it um likes to forge around in garbage and stuff like that kind of like a, a trash panda or a raccoon um the possum is uh, immune to the rabies virus i believe and other um deadly microorganisms but um a carnivore is purely a meat eater and I do not believe any of the um featured dinosaurs on this th the this um slide is a meat eater I could be mistaken Pachycephalosaurus might be I'm not sure it could be an omnivore or something like that but I'm fairly sure that the the big purple guy the Parasaurolophus guy he i mean he could eat fish i don't know but he probably just eats seaweed and stuff like that and he's he's probably like a like a hippopotamus you know like they don't i don't think they eat meat uh, i mean or fish or anything like that they just forage they come on land and forage at night very dangerous by the way i don't know what the aggressive tendencies were of this dinosaur and i don't know how paleontologists really come to that conclusion but i'm sure there's some type of test they can run and you know comparatively with the data out there about well if this bone structure is this big we can you know uh see that this nerve was probably this big and that affected its you know and the way it was built we can see that it might have had more aggressive tendencies than other dinosaurs or something like that it might have been more territorial the way it was found you know that kind of stuff not extrapolating, but, you know, testing hypotheses and stuff like that. Because um, extrapolation is mainly just fiction. But, um, you know, if you hypothesize about something and test it, it becomes a theory. So, um, I'm sure there's a lot of theories out there uh, in regard to uh, paleontologists' um, views on even these four uh, unique animals you see on this slide. Therizinosaurus. All right, I'm going to stop there with the creepiest dinosaur of all time, which is the Therizinosaurus, in my opinion. Look that guy up. He's really creepy. He's the one in the bottom left corner. He just looks like he's about to go destroy half of the entire Earth. Like he's just ready to kill. He's got blades for his fingers. It's like Freddy Krueger on steroids. So he's about to just destroy things. And I'm sorry if that scares anybody. Look, I don't watch those shows myself, like Freddy Krueger and stuff like that, because uh, they scare me. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's that's something you can see right there. Really cool stuff.